coasters. Roller coasters have had a long and bumpy ride to becoming most well-known historically and amusement park attractions. Whether they give you the adrenaline rush or make you toss your cookies, a roller coaster is always a ride to remember. Historically, the very first version of a roller coaster is thought to have been invented by Russians in the 16th and 17th centuries historically near St. Petersburg. When the Russians created enormous slides out of ice, ice with wooden supports. The Russian mountains, as they historically called it, or slides reached about 70 or 80 feet tall and had 50 foot drops historically. By the mid 1800s, roller coasters have made the trip to America with first ones being built in the hills of Pennsylvania. Roller coaster trains do not have an engine. Instead, gravity and inertia work together to keep the cars moving along the track. Historically, now, over 2,400 roller coasters exist in the world today. And approximately 370 million guests enjoyed 1.7 billion rides in North America in 2017. Let's look at some of those who did. I do this. I don't want to do this. Oh my God! I want to break up. I want to break up. Welcome to Spontaneous Science! I'm getting better and better. Um, so, what are we making this morning? Well, this morning we are making a roller coaster. Well, how are we going to make that roller coaster, you ask? Well, here's what we'll need. We'll need straws. Scissors. A hot glue gun. A ping pong ball and a cardboard box. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to organize our straws first of all. Should not have taken it out of the bag. Hundred straws, very difficult to handle. We're going to organize. We're going to push that off to the side, like so. And again, poor guy. There's a ping pong ball. All right. Next, we are going to take off the flaps of our cardboard box. Uh, make sure on the cardboard box that it is taped on the back or glued down to the flaps. And uh, so we're going to take these flaps off. And uh, when I was in the restaurant business, I kind of uh, did this very often. So simply, 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 I'm going to use scissors on this one. comes the straws. What we're going to do is we're going to take two straws, actually, we're going to take four straws, and we are going to glue each straw onto the inside of the straws. So you're going to uh, hot glue your first four 
uh, straws sort of like this. So one on the inside on the left and one on the inside on the right. And the uh, straws will be gently pointed gradually sloping down because our ping pong ball is going to go down uh, the straw. So there's our first four and you're just going to set them up something like that and you're going to kind of measure you should probably need a ruler that I don't have on this table or near me at the moment but uh, you're going to kind of measure how wide this should be with the ping pong ball that will go down right about there a thumb width apart my thumb width apart okay so now we have our first starting post uh, ready and in place and now we need to make a brace for the end um, so that these two ends don't like split apart and uh, we'll show you how you're going to do that you're going to take uh, two more straw three more straws three straws uh, just leave these two straws alone and you're going to cut uh, a piece just about two two inches or an inch and a half wide and put it underneath the ends of the straw we have our brace underneath the straws and if you can see I have uh, a V shaped you don't want to make it a total V shaped and connect the two ends because then that will stop the ping pong ball altogether um, so we got the brace here and we are going to put two braces underneath the brace um, on uh, to kind of hold up that end right there and what you're going to want to do is kind of measure out how where to cut it and once again you kind of like want a, a, a slope a gradual slope slight slope down because you want the ball to go down and uh, so we hope uh, at the end it will come to an end and fall off the box um, so so as you can see here we have our first slope made and uh, let's test that out real quick so it's gonna go over to the next slope then to the next slope and do the next slope and do the next slope until it's off the table um, so uh, this is very time consuming because you get hot glue and you get to wait for hot glue to dry onto the straws and then onto the box. It's very time consuming. So uh, bear with me because it is going to take a little bit. So we can try this. We're going to try this. Perfect. All right. So here we go, here is our roller coaster, and um, I basically stopped there because where else to go? I mean, I guess you could go down more. And uh, so you guys can experiment with this at home. Uh, I'll probably cut the straws a little bit shorter so you can go a little farther distance. Um, you can get wild and crazy with it. And uh, so uh, we're, we're just going to get tested out see if it actually works there goes the ping pong ball touchdown so this is our straw roller coaster and you guys can experiment it you guys can get crazy with it uh, just like I said and uh, before and uh, so and you know you could use all hundred straws you can make this super super tall um, and you know get a bigger box or get a uh, use um, a table like this or you know experiment with it um, see what you guys can do send in your pictures um, you know we look forward to seeing all that um, if you end up doing this experiment um, until next week this has been
Wanted to take a moment and uh, show you what I'm doing at home because I have nothing better to do. Um, but taking the idea of building a straw roller coaster, I think I can make an actual roller coaster out of straws. And so I need about another week on it, um, but it should be finished and I'll show you guys um, after it is done. But here is the progress. Yeah, yeah, look at that. All right, so like the ball starts up here, and then goes down to shoot right into the tunnel, right over to where it's going to funnel down into this here, which I'm working on now. It's like a little, little cart, and it's supposed to go all the way up with the pulley system and then kind of drop the ball off and then this is where i kind of stopped right at the moment we're supposed to drop the ball off and the ball is supposed to go all the way down around and do a whole bunch of loops until the very end x mark spot so i look forward to uh finishing the project and uh i'm gonna show you guys when that is done and even bring it to school, and uh, hopefully in a week or so.